Hello everybody, today we are talking about how to use a DNS server in the packet tracer and uh, we are going to use this router as the inside the router or the home network router this router here will represent the ISP or the internet and the internet we usually find the DNS server which we are now used to use uh, 8.8.8.8 and this is the IP we're going, we are going to assign to this DNS server and this server here will uh, serve for us like a web browser, a web server somewhere there that we are going to access him via this domain www.google.com so when I enter in this PC in my PC at home and I press in the browser in the desktop when I open the browser and if I press here www.google.com uh, so we will uh, wait for this page here to be opened so let's start configuring first everything here So let's open this router and start the configurations. <clears throat> First, we are going to configure the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 with uh, this IP address. So configure terminal, interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0, no shutdown, description, an area network, and IP address <laughs> 2.168.1.1. Okay, uh, we also are going to use NAT in the router 0, so this interface will be IP NAT. Let's get out of here and enter in the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface. Shutdown. IP address will be in this range, so we are using the first one here. And description one interface. Uh, this interface will be IP not outside. Let's create now an access list to allow the inside IP addresses, the range 192.168.1.0, to be netted to the outside network. So IP access list standard standard uh, IP not we'll call it commit 921.68.1.0.0.0.255 okay now let's uh, make let's create the not rule so IP not inside source list so now it's time to call our access list that created here so we are basically telling our router uh, you will use uh, though you will lose use only those IPs from this access list to be noted to the IP address that is present in the interface gigabit Ethernet interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 so all inside IPs in this range 9192.168.1.0 when they are going in the outside network they will, will be noted in the uh, IP address of 1.1.1.1 sorry we forgot something we forgot the command overload so not only one IP will be translated to this 1.1.1 but uh, all the inside IPs uh, will be noted to that specific IP address uh, and this NAT is also called the PAT port address translation very good let's go ahead now and configure the ISP router so first of all we are going to configure the interface gigabit Ethernet enable uh, configure terminal Interface, Gigabit Ethernet, 
Jó sat. IP address. That one, that one, that. Sorry, that two. Zero. That's it. No shot description. Client one. Okay. Zero. It is the interface where is the DNS server connected? IP address. In that day, that day, that one. No shot. Description. DNS. Interface will be different. Zero test two. No shot. Description. Web server. That's so now we are missing only one thing for router zero the default gateway will be router one so we are going to make a static ip root so we are basically saying that everything you don't know send it to router one so ip route 000000 go to everything will go to one that one that one that two that is router one or the isp router for us so everything is perfect now let's add ip addresses to our pcs and servers okay let's go ip configuration for our pc one and two one say that one that ten and uh, the default gateway will be 192.168.1.1 and the DNS server will be that way, that way, that way, that is the IP of the DNS server here. Okay, very good. Let's now configure the DNS server IP address, desktop IP. The IP address will be 8.8.8.8. Subnet mask, 5.5.0, default gateway, a dot a dot a dot one that is the router one okay services now it's time to configure the dns service dns the service it will be on name www.google.com and the address which will be used to reach this server Okay, we will let the IP address 12.12.12.12. That will be the IP address of this server here. And we're going to press add here. It is a record www.google.com. It's with the IP address 12.12.12.12. Okay, very good. We are done with the DNS server. Now let's go to the web server. Desktop IP address IP 12.12.12.12. One is the default gateway. Very good. Let's try it. Bit. Well, here we go. Everything is working perfect. Google.com is send us to the Cisco packet tracer of this server right here. Very good. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.